Hello, I'm Amy Stewart. I'm a writer, an artist, and an urban sketcher. Over the years, I've filled sketchbooks with drawings and paintings from my vacations, um, from my everyday life here in Portland, Oregon, where I live, and uh, even just from inside my own house. But lately, I've been feeling like something's missing from my drawings, and what's missing is words. As a writer, I'm always making notes in my sketchbooks, but I wanted something that packed more of a punch visually. At the same time, I knew I was never gonna put in the hours of practice it would take to learn the many beautiful styles of hand lettering that have become so popular. Just look at, um, look at this. These are all the pages of lettering practice that I've done. Uh, this was me a few years ago, you know, just trying to learn how to do this. And the fact is, I just never got there. And most of all, I just didn't enjoy the process. Like this felt like work and I make art for fun. So I wanted something I could do without a ton of practice using more or less my own handwriting and the art supplies I already carry with me. So I've developed an approach to lettering for urban sketching, journaling, and well, for all of us. It's casual, it's definitely not too perfect. Um, it's based on my own handwriting and my own drawing skills. My big breakthrough was when I realized that I don't have to memorize a lettering style and learn to write in that style the way I just write in my own handwriting. Once I let go of that idea, lettering became much more fun as an art form. So if you want to learn to add more words and more lettering styles to your sketchbooks and your artwork without having to put in hours and hours of practicing and memorizing how to form each letter of the alphabet, this class is for you. I'll show you how to work with pencil, marker, and watercolor to create visually interesting letters using the same approach to drawing and painting you already use in your art. Now, I'm going to be working um, from examples of the styles that I like to use, and you'll see that it fits my personality and my artwork, but I'll also show you how to find styles that work for your tastes and your interests. All right, let's get started.